Hey, good morning, guys. Yes, we've got Dr. Nicole Mose. Now, she was here with us uh, last week talking about the types of uh, apparatus that you could wear yeah. that was safe, what was not safe, right? And here's the thing. There are going to be some people who are going to push the envelope just to check it out and see, oh, it can't be that bad, or they just can't help themselves, and we'll turn around and look at the sun. Let's talk about what could actually happen right. if you do push the envelope. Yes. So do not look directly at the sun. Right. I um, can't emphasize that enough. Right. Um, but let's just go over kind of an eyeball and how it works. Okay. So we've got the front of the eye, the cornea. Okay. That does a lot of the focusing of the eye as okay. the light comes in. We've got the iris that adjusts to see how much light can come into the eye. Okay. We've got the lens that does a little bit more focusing in the back. You're auto-focusing depending on what distance you're looking at. Right. And then the light hits the back of the eye here, the retina. Okay. That's what we're worried That's about the, right. with, the, with this eclipse. Okay. So when you're looking at the sun, um, the retina here, that is, is responsible of capturing the light okay. and then sending that information to the brain. Okay. And that's where the damage can be done. And when we're talking about damage, like we've got a couple of questions from our viewers. Dan E says that uh, he is actually going to plan on staying inside and completely ignoring it. He said he looked at a partial eclipse as a child because at the time nobody told him not to. This was, you know, some okay. years ago. He says a week later I was wearing glasses. And I don't know if that's related, but is it possible that it can cause that much damage to where it can completely change your vision? So yes, it can cause permanent damage. Yeah. So as little as 30 seconds, maybe even less than that, because okay. who's going to volunteer to stare at the sun and see how long it actually takes, right? right. Um, but it can cause permanent damage. Now, glasses don't actually fix this condition. Right. So it might have been a coincidence sure, that he that was young, he was growing, time. he was yeah. going to need glasses anyways, right. but it does cause serious damage where you're actually okay. going to be losing vision. Okay, so here's one more question for you then, because Nancy says that she's a little confused about what she can look at. She says, I, I understand that I can't look directly at the sun, but does this mean before and after the eclipse, so like the bookends of the actual eclipse, and does this also mean that I can be outside without sunglasses, or do I need sunglasses when I go outside? Just walking around, you don't plan to look at the sun. Yeah, so the eclipse is like any other day. Yeah. The sun's going to be out. You don't want to stare directly at it. Okay. So that's whether there's an eclipse or it's just the regular sun that's out okay. there. Um, you, if you're going to look at the sun, you want those eclipse glasses or okay. solar filters gotcha. that are safe for looking at the sun. So if you're not looking directly at the sun, you can walk around in your sunglasses. Yeah. That's fine. But okay. if you're going to be looking at the sun, you need to take those sunglasses off and put on the appropriate solar glasses. Got it. Dr. Mose, thank you so much. Stick around. Coming up in the next hour, we're just going to answer a few more questions uh, from our viewers and also uh, talk about what happens as well as your, uh, your OCT and the different filters that are in your eyes. It's very scientific, but science. Bottom line, do not look, listen to the words coming out of my mouth. Do right. not look directly at the sun, like ever, but especially during an eclipse. Of all like, those don't ever do stupid it. challenges on <laughs> social media Why? today. And Why? there are a better. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Oh, gosh. Thanks, Corey. Right, Thank guys. you, guys. Ahead next hour, Saturday.